Oh, alright. Welcome back. <coughs> Welcome back. Let's go ahead and do another mission. Rescue the Allies. Conduct a rescue operation. Your target will be brought through Amber Crown at Loop Line Angle Junction. Save the target at all costs. The enemy convoy consists of three vehicles and a couple of MT Guard tanks. So, destroy the convoy, but save the transport that contains our target. We will take care of things after that. Good luck. So the transport vehicle is in the center. It's worth mentioning that. This is our first mission that's like really gonna challenge us to, to pay attention to what we're blowing up, you know? There's a, a, other missions that do, do something similar, but you know. So you see there's three convoy trucks with very strange uh, wheel alignments, but that's okay. And there we are. Main system engaging combat mode. Target confirmed. Intercept now. Guys are mad lads with these unnamed rockets, man. The damage of unnamed rockets is high. Boom! System switch to normal mode. Well, little truck on. All the traps we have set have been destroyed. <laughs> Useless. This is a warning. Leave the premises immediately. You cannot hope to defeat Stinger. Stinger. Listen, I don't like annoyances. Well, well, well. But hey, we made some money. You have new mail. Well, let's go check our mail. I apologize for your recent inconveniences. Since our messages are sent anonymously, somebody took advantage of that and sent you a fake. I want you to conduct a rescue mission. However, we are still searching for the whereabouts of our target. As soon as we locate this person, I will be contacting you with further information. Alright, cool. So, what do we got going on now? Raid the lab. We have located the area where the prisoner is being held. We request that you plan a rescue mission. The prisoner must rescue... The prisoner we must rescue is being held at an, in an enemy laboratory. 
destroy the power supply, and then take advantage of the ensuing confusion to rescue the prisoner. After completing the rescue, head for the upper section of the lab and escape in the lightweight plane. Now we have a stashed there. Alright. Sounds tense. Sounds hardcore, maybe. It's all rainy outside. It's really nice. I like it. I like the rain. Main system engaging combat mode. Alright, so... Oh, we got a button right here. Note to self, you can't always just blow shit up to get your way. We got another button right here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Wow. Would you look at that? Alright, so that looks like what we're going to be fighting a lot of. Those little things. So basically... We're trying to find our our, our rescue boy through a through a maze, right? <clears throat> I don't think we'll be able to get all too lost in this maze because I don't think that the gates that we can't go through will even open. So. I think the only gates that we can go through will kind of take us to where we're headed. You know what I mean? I guess my warning did not deter you. you oh, we've got Stinger! I'll tell you what, Stinger. Tell you what, Stinger. Well, he really did a lot of damage. Now. Remember that we are not yet finished. Fair enough, Stinger. Fair enough. Okay, where are we going now? That's the door we came in through. So I think we want to go through this door. Yeah. Yeah, he really he really does a lot of damage. Holy crap. He fucking ate through like half our armor. Wild. Gate check. Cannot unlock gate. One interesting thing <clears throat> about the old tank tread caterpillar legs is that that you don't you can't equip boosters with them. Oh, oh what's this? Defect detected in the power system. Emergency power off. Some sections are unlocked during system-wide emergencies. We blew that shit personnel. up. The test subject has hijacked a battle rig in the third sector. All units pursue. A repeat. Battle test rig. Test subject has hijacked a battle rig. All units surround the third sector. Mm 
We got a door over here. Blast them with the pew pews. over here. This hallway seems kind of special. It's, it's not quite as high action, you know, like the stinger fight was intense, but like there's just not quite as... Please respond. Oh. We need immediate assistance. Oh. What's this? Now we must escape. Gotta save that friendly unit. We have confirmed that the power system is back online. All systems have been reset. We cannot delay. Let's go now. Escaped. Thank you for your assistance. I mean, it's a little generous, but. Who requested the rescue mission. Story stuff. I am a raven in Amber Crown. I was captured during my mission. I've heard they are developing an advanced weapon system, but not what type. We do know they're called the Doomsday Organization, but have very little on their Project Phantasma. They are researching how to combine computer technology with the human brain. Of course, they have no idea what the end result will be. I was almost their first test subject. We cannot leave things as they are. I will stop them, even though it's not really my job. I want you to assist me. I need a strong partner, so you're it. This will be your next mission. Hell yeah. You know what they say. <clears throat> Anything for enough money and a pretty voice, right? 
I do think that this little flying sequence kind of drags on a little too long, but that's okay. So the Project Phantasma thing, right? So it's debatable whether or not the whole Armored Core series all takes place linearly or even in the same universe. But let's entertain the idea that it does. That would mean that this would be the earliest points of of that you know timeline that we're experiencing and the uh like for example armored core 4 the acs are referred to as nexts and their pilots are called like lynxes or something and they're advanced humans so basically by that logic the project phantasma would be an early precursor to whatever turned hum human pilots into lynxes basically making like the perfect AC pilots <clears throat> so to speak so really really interesting stuff really cool sci-fi storytelling and shit so and I know that Armored Core is not a big storytelling type of game it just kind of gives you what you get and you know it's like Dark Souls shockingly who would have thought that that the storytelling in a in an old FromSoft game would be comparable to storytelling in more modern FromSoft games? You got to really kind <clears> of <throat> you got to really kind of glean for yourself what's going on, you know. And on that note, we're gonna call this an episode, and uh, yeah, two missions down, and I will see you all soon. Thank you for tuning in. Farewell.